The Patriotic Alliance caused a minor scuffle outside the church where the Secretary General of the ANC, Gwere Mantashe, was engaging with religious leaders. The Alliance expressed their dissatisfaction with the governing party. We're just standing up as the PA for our community to come and hear what the, DA, what the ANC is coming to come and lie for us for another 25 years. For, for the last 25 years they've done nothing for us. Only promises upon promises. There's our brothers dying here of gangsterism and drugs. But all the government is concerned about is one riot, white rhino that is dying every day. They are most concerned about the rhinos dying instead of our people suffering here in our location. But this did not deter the program of the day as religious leaders offered prayers for the ANC and further emphasized the importance of the relationship between the church and the leaders of political parties. The church is, is, is the moral compass of society. The church is the prophetic voice of society. Therefore, we are aware of the belief that we cannot leave the, the, the state alone. When the state are engaged in society, we should join the church to say that all wisdom is not resided within the church, uh, within the state. We as, as church leaders, we can also share our wisdom with you. And together we can form partnerships. And with these partnerships forming, we can make an impact in our community. No. ANC's Gwede Mantashe believes that the ruling party was anointed to deliver the people of South Africa to freedom, further adding that the role of the church is to call leaders to order. The church is very important in society. That's where we get moral compass from. It is the church that can tell us truths that are painful and bitter. Uh, if they don't do that, we'll go back to them and tell them that you're not doing your work. The ANC's branch secretary, Tulan Chozana, says the ANC will lodge a complaint against the Patriotic Alliance for violating the IC's code of conduct. For NN7 News, I'm Natasha Perry, Midrand, Johannesburg.